right, so we're back and we're ready to start making this sign interactable through code. Um, literally in code, we want to make it uh, interactable. So um, the first step is to give it um, our desired uh, data. Let's get a way to uh, retrieve the message. Let's give it a way to set the message. And let's uh, give it a variable that will hold the message currently displayed on the sign. Well, not displayed on the sign yet. Um, that will be a future tutorial for um, throwing a uh, material with text onto um, the sign. Um, so let's get started. We're going to be using the the macros here, uh, the U function and U property macros, that we can use this stuff in blueprints and uh, find it in the editors. Um, so we'll begin with making two public um, functions, which we want to prefix with the U function um, macro. We want to make a blueprint callable so that we can set a node uh, in the blueprint of the sign or whatever we are um, using to interact with the sign um, to call these functions and we'll set the category to accessors because these are accessor functions uh, we'll make that return a constant f string so that we can't actually change or mute it or uh, it's immutable at this point get the get message and it's going to only do one thing, and it's not going to mutate any of our class, so we'll make the function itself const as well. Uh, we will make another function to set the message, new function blueprint callable. Oops. And we'll put that category equals modifiers. Oops. And we'll do void set message. And we'll take in a const f string new message. And just uh, do some formatting here. And then in a protected field, we want to make a u property, edit anywhere for now, and then category equals messages, and we'll call that f string message. So now we have the class built up and ready to be used. Uh, we can then create the implementation for all this stuff. And um, it appears that uh, VAX doesn't like that, so we will just do this. Bam, 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 and bam. That should work. And then we're just going to return message. And here we'll do message equals new message. Alright, so we have all that functionality set up. And now we can go into player character. We can take the message from the sign. Sign message equals sign actor get message. And then we can display it. Add on screen debug message. Let's display it for two seconds. And we'll do it in yellow. And we'll send in sign message. So now we can exit out of our um, editor and rebuild the project now that we have new things that need to be 
um, identified by the engine itself. Oops. And we'll wait for that to compile and start up. Your build times again might be a little faster than mine. I'm using a Lenovo Y500, which is a pretty powerful laptop, but still pales in comparison to um, desktop power. So it's going to be done soon here. And then it's going to start up, and we will see. Um, unless I've completely derped and forgotten something here we should be able to interact with the sign we haven't given it a message yet but I'll show you some blueprint magic in a second we can click on um, this sign now and we can remove it and we'll drag one of our blueprinted signs into the scene and then we'll click that sign and we will edit defaults and we can set the message right here we could also do it as we can do it in the actual details as well so we can do welcome to unreal engine 4 and then we'll drag out a second one and we'll rotate it just a little bit like that and we'll give this message this is a test message so that we can see the differences in each um, sign so we'll go up and we will welcome to Unreal Engine 4 up in the top left there and on this one this is a test message so now we have two signs using blueprints and using C++ which allow us to um, set a message and you could use this and display it to the HUD or you could uh, draw it as a material onto the front of the sign um, you can do anything you want in this way and hopefully people will use this and find a different way to do it and uh, submit them submit them to the Unreal forums so that we can uh, we can all see them and you know community based community driven software development is great so um, it's really cool to see what people can do. Uh, so I hope this tutorial sequence uh, series helped. Uh, it's my first time ever doing it. Um, and uh, that's it. Thank you for watching.